What if I told you right now that you could ask an AI agent to log into your Gmail, navigate to promotions tab and unsubscribe from all email newsletters you no longer want. Or that you could ask, plan a weekend getaway for my family, find kid friendly hotels, compare flight options, build the itinerary in Google Docs and have most of it done by your AI needing just your final approval and confirmation to book a ticket. That's ChatGPT's agent mode doing its thing. ChatGPT now has a new mode called the agent mode. In this video, I'll show you what agent mode actually is, who gets access, and then walk you through the coolest, most surprising tasks you can use it for. Tasks that go way beyond just chatting. So you can start using it today to be a lot more productive with your time. At its core, Asian mode is ChatGPT with a pair of hands. Normal ChatGPT is a brilliant conversationalist. It generates text, brainstorms ideas, writes poems, drafts email and explains complex concepts. It can tell you how to do something but it won't actually do it for you. Asian mode changes that. It can open web pages, click buttons, fill out forms, run code and save files. In other words, it shifts ChatGPT from being a helper that tells you what to do into a doer that actually performs tasks you approve. When you type in the chat box and enable Asian mode, ChatGPT spins up a workspace that looks like a mini computer inside ChatGPT's interface. The agent can use a virtual browser to navigate websites and a code interpreter to run scripts or manipulate data. It can even connect to services like Gmail or Google Drive using your credentials when you give it and do the work for you. You define a task in plain language and the agent then begins to execute the steps. It will pause at critical moments such as before submitting a form or sending an email and ask you for approval or ask you to take over. This human in the loop design ensures that you stay in control. Now, it's important to emphasize the difference between agent mode and simple automation tools. Automation tools often require you to set up complex triggers, connect APIs and test workflows. With agent mode, you speak in natural language and the agent interprets your intent, executes tasks across multiple platforms and surface the result for your approval. As of the current update in September 2025, Asian mode is not yet available for everyone. OpenAI has restricted it to the paid plans, plus pro, business, enterprise and edu. Free users cannot access it yet, but my assumption is it should be available to free users as well in the future like how the ChatGPT made image generation, deep research available for the free users. Let's say you're planning a trip from Seattle to New York in November. Normally, you would open multiple tabs, Google Flights, Expedia, airline websites, filter by non-stop flights, check baggage allowances, and then manually type in your personal details. With Asian mode, you might just say, find the cheapest non-stop flight from Seattle to New York in November, arriving before 6 p.m. with one carry-on included. Show me the options and get to the checkout page. The agent will open the travel sites, compare prices and present a summary. This takes roughly around 5 minutes. When you're ready to book it, it'll take you to the checkout page and pause for you to enter your passenger names and payment information. After you click confirm, you can now hand control back to the agent to finish any remaining steps. This process saves you a significant amount of time and reduces the risk of missing important fine prints. Another example, you're planning dinner with friends at a popular Italian restaurant. Finding a table at this restaurant is not easy. Rather than calling around or using multiple booking platforms, I can ask ChatGPT, reserve a table for two at the earliest available date for dinner at 7 p.m. at the Pink Door restaurant, Seattle. Asian mode opens open table or restaurant's website, checks availability. You can see all the steps here as it does. If the restaurant requires a phone number or credit card to hold the table, the agent will pause and ask you to type it in. Once you provide the details, it finishes the reservation and sends a confirmation to your email or calendar.
This example highlights the human in the loop aspect. So the Asian does the repetitive browsing and typing, but you stay responsible for the sensitive fields. Email is one of the biggest productivity trains. If you ask agent mode to summarize my unread Gmail messages from the last 24 hours, categorize them into urgent, for your information and promotions and prepare polite follow-ups for the urgent ones. It will use the Gmail connector to fetch your unread messages and the Slack connector to pull channel updates. It can then draft replies. You can even try asking an agent to unsubscribe from all the emails in the promotion inbox. Okay, last one. Suppose a colleague sends a PDF with monthly revenue figures. Instead of manually transcribing numbers into Excel, you tell agent mode, extract the revenue, expenses and net profit column with this PDF into a spreadsheet and share it with my team. The agent opens the PDF, phrases the data, generates a spreadsheet and uploads it to your Google Drive. You can also ask it to calculate percentages and create charts. By leveraging the Code Interpreter tool, it can run Python scripts to clean and analyze data all within the same workflow. Similarly, you can ask to create a PowerPoint presentation like this. I've barely given a few examples. ChatGPT agents can be your personal assistant doing the hard work for you. It can save hours each week by handling repetitive digital errands, whether you're booking travel, managing your inbox, extracting data, or conducting market research. It's not a free feature. You need a paid ChatGPT plan and usage is capped per month. But for many professionals, students, and businesses, the time saving alone can justify the upgrade. If this video helped you understand agent mode please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more deep dives into ai tools and productivity tech have you tried agent mode yet if so what's the first task you would assign it leave your thoughts and questions in the comments thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one this is anjana bye bye